hello good people and uh, once again thank you so much for viewing my channel and uh, my video welcome to my today's vlog i'm still at uh, Mbotella 3j farm where i am with my very good friend and a, a good farmer from this part of this region dr michael musioka dr michael musioka besides the video my other video in this channel where he does pixie farming does is full of ideas and does diverse farming and today i'm with him uh, to show us uh, pixie farming and how to uh, not pixie dragon. sorry dragon fruit farming and how to take care of it dr karibu sana to today's vlog thank you elder uh, we are here to learn yes i hope you still welcome us you are welcome as my viewers are very anxious to get to know more about uh, we are farming in this part of uh, Kenya mm -hmm. and uh, today we are standing next to a concrete post and I can see some kind of cactus, green cactus here. Tell us what this is and why you have to tie and uh, basically tell us about, uh, I know this is dragon, dragon fruit, tell us about the dragon farming. Hello viewers, welcome to Botella 3J farm. Thank you, Evans, for visiting me. Yes. You are so much welcome. You have been a friend, and uh, really we work together. Yes. Tonight and this afternoon, we're going to look at dragon fruit farming. Yes. This dragon fruit is in the family of cactus. Mm -hmm. We know cactus in the African situation, mm -hmm. and the cactus don't like a lot of water. Mm -hmm. As you can see from the post, you mm -hmm. can see there is no trough where we are going to have water stationary mm -hmm. because it needs water to get away quickly, mm -hmm. as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. So when I learned about dragon fruit, farming mm -hmm. i was taught about it by my daughter-in-law my son's wife mm -hmm. two years ago mm -hmm. then last year i planted the first in dragon fruit two days before i went for the general election mm -hmm. and uh, three months later i planted very big number of them mm -hmm. and as we're talking today mm -hmm. i have about 500 plus wow. and uh, we have just tested the first in dragon fruit from our farm yes three days ago mm -hmm. i had a ceremony mm -hmm. my friends came and uh, we really tested yes. oh yummy I'll yummy post, yummy I'll post the photo here <laughs> for my viewers to see so for dragon fruit you said you can see a concrete pillar yes it is supported by a pillar because it's a creeper. Mm -hmm. When you plant this, like the one you are seeing, we planted three months, two months ago. Mm -hmm. And it has come six feet mm -hmm. within two months mm -hmm. because it creeps. Mm -hmm. And we tie it against the pillar. Mm -hmm. And with the time, mm -hmm. it is going to hold itself. Mm -hmm. If you come close and you look at it keenly, mm -hmm. you're going to realize mm -hmm. it has air roots. Mm -hmm. These roots, are going to hold against the concrete pillar mm -hmm. and they will still go down and touch the ground so that it can pick more nutrients mm -hmm. and by the time it comes to this level and mm -hmm. i'll show you elsewhere mm -hmm. we're going to put a cylindrical structure here mm -hmm. we naturally use motorbike or the motorbike tire mm -hmm. with the metallic bars across mm -hmm. so that we are going to create an umbrella yes. for this one now to start giving us the fruit from the umbrella like structure yes. so dragon fruit mm -hmm. the way to go mm -hmm. it is a very important fruit mm -hmm. in the market you can google mm -hmm. a kilogram goes between 800 and 1200 wholesale price 800 if, and, and 1200 a kilogram a kilogram and, and a kilogram has around two around two we can fruit. have even have one which is more than a kg oh, wow. but from my farm two of them were coming to 1.2 kgs oh and wow. i saw even the supermarket the other day yes a kilogram was going for 100 and 1100 1050 10, 1150 or 1150. 1150 i yes. saw that from yes. a local I supermarket think i saw one and then mm -hmm. when the market is not flooded mm -hmm. that kilogram will go up to 2000 yes. but for now mm -hmm. it is safe to say the price of of dragon fruit in the market mm -hmm. wholesale price mm -hmm. is about a thousand shillings oh wow it's a, a very kilo. important tree a cage yes. a kilo which has got about two yes so this is it yes and i have ventured yeah. into this oh wonderful. let me show you now mm. the one. so this other pillars here these are dragon fruits yes all oh, these pillars mm. are dragon fruit yes. and i say they are growing at different rates yes 
and uh, the rates are depending on how they are moving up. Yes. We just tie them like you have seen the first ones were hacked to the top of the pillar. Yes. These ones are coming to the top of the pillar. Mm -hmm. This is a bit short, this mm -hmm. is a bit high, mm -hmm. the other one a bit high. Mm -hmm. One pillar we carry, we carry four. I can one see. on the east, mm -hmm. one on the west, one on the south, one on the north. Yeah, I was so almost asking them. you why. They have to be four. We are putting four for economy okay. so that this okay. post can be utilized at maximum oh, okay. and at the same time we yes. are going to get more fruit. Yes. If because within four months mm -hmm. it will be up to the top mm -hmm. and then the season starts between November mm -hmm. and April mm -hmm. and we are going to get a better fruit when we have many of them. And why do you have to to use these strings to tie? These strings are only meant mm -hmm. to attach it to the post. Oh, okay. So that okay. the air okay. roots, once yes. they develop, yes. they are going to make to, to hold themselves yes. on the pillar. Yes. With the time and the ones I'm going to show you shortly, mm -hmm. you will find even the strings have been removed. Oh, okay. Because it is able to attach, to itself, attach itself to the pillar. Okay. Yes. Oh, wonderful. This is some great work, Bona Daktari. Thank you. Viewers, you can see we have serious farmers. People who are venturing into things, I mean, to an agriculture, a kind of agriculture which has not been practiced in this part of Kenya. And uh, keep up the good work, Dr. Actually, go to the next Actually, Evans, yes. this is my side hustle. Yes. Full time, I work for a motor vehicle company. Mm -hmm. Part time, I also I at the University of Nairobi. Oh, wonderful. I am a lecturer part time, yes. and I've been doing it for the last 17 years. Wow. For the motor vehicle company, yes. Isuzu East Africa, yes. I've worked there for the last 28 years. Wonderful. I am the manager in charge of corporate research mm -hmm. and sustainability. Wow. And this is a side hustle, <laughs> what we do, yes. because when we come to the Shamba, yes. we forget about the shops. Oh. We don't buy anything from the shop other you than are, salt yes. and the sugar. And yep. my wife and I consume tea without sugar. To my good viewers, kindly take note that <laughs> it is not about white color jobs. Let us uh, dirtify our hands, let us get to Shambani and do more for this country. This country needs us, agriculture needs us. And uh, it's needless to stay in the office and abandon farming at home. So to Rudy Mashambani, right now, Dr. take us to the next step. We want Let's. to see more of dragon food, Let's. dragon food farming. As we walk along, you are seeing the maize is also coming up very yes. well. Yes. This is from the rains mm -hmm. which are coming in hunting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are doing well. In this chamber, we have mixed fruit. Yes. The same time when we were going for the holiday mm -hmm. to have the uh, elections, mm. we also planted mango trees. Oh. In this line, if you look to the farthest end, you yes, can see I some can of see them which are so these tall. Are mangoes, yes. We have 45 of them which wow. were planted by me and my son. Yes. And uh, we did 45 of them. Mm. And they are all doing well. Wonderful. Let's cross over. Yes. And we have a button irrigator down here. Yes. Which gives water. A button irrigator. Yes. Oh, okay. If you look down here, in time you can when, see when there are no rain. When there is no rain, yes. we only open water for about 15 minutes. Yes. And this button here yes. irrigates this plant. That is the button. Uh, this uh, is the button I'm talking about. The button drip. Which gives some drops of oh, water here yes. for 15 minutes. Yes. It irrigates the 45 of them. Oh, wonderful. Only opening a fall. Yes. I'll show you where the fall is. Okay. Let's walk to the dragon fruit itself. My, my cameraman, come along. But before we go to the dragon fruit, yes. I want to show you another important fruit tree yes. we have in this chamber. Mm -hmm. This is apple. Mm -hmm. This is an apple tree. Wow. And this was planted much this year. March of this year? March this year, Yes. we planted this. This is an apple tree. tree? Yes. Okay. And uh, by January, I've, I've, I've never January, seen it, Feb to be honest. January, February, mm -hmm. Elder come, we take apples from this farm. What? I promise you, I'll show so you it some of them now. A year Within give. a year, you get this. You get your fruit. This is not the island apple. Oh, okay. This is an apple which is researched mm -hmm. and done specifically for lowlands. For lowlands and, and dry. And it will do good here. Dry semi arid area. Yeah, semi -arid but areas. you need to give it some water. Yes. I'm still using the button irrigator. Oh, okay. Yeah, I because can that's why you can see this line. Yes. I have planted 90 minus 1. Wow. And all of them are here. Some of them have started fruiting. Yes. And I'll be able to show you that. Those are apples. Yes, viewers, those are viewers apples. apples going yeah, that for, direction for, for lowland areas. Yes, Dr. Muzioka is doing so. Now mm -hmm. we have the dragon fruits here, wow. and these ones wow. I planted them in November last year. 
This is now the dragon fruit. Yes, this is November last year. The dragon fruit. They have plant. started fruiting. Yes. You can see some fruits. Oh. These are yet. So these are come. the fruits. Now. Yes, those are now the fruits they are now developing. Wow. The flower here, the flower will open. Yes. When it opens, it only opens for from 8 p.m. Yes. To 8 a.m. next morning. Oh. And it closes. It opens yeah. at night? Yes, it wow. opens at 8 p.m. PM. night. Yes. And it closes 8 a.m. in the morning. 12 hours opening. If it has not pollinated by that time, you lose that fruit. Oh, okay. Sometimes it is recommended you do anti-pollination. Yes. But for me, I've not done that and the fruits are here. Yes. Now, I told you about the hair roots. Mm. These, these strings no longer matter. Mm. Because this one has already held itself against and the, the pillar. It has held itself. These ones so have held firmly. themselves. And so these funny. air roots will go down, yes. pick nutrients from down there, yes. bring them up here. Ah. This is the motorbike tire, which these I These are say, the roots? Yes. These are called air roots. Yeah. Air and roots. they will go down. All the way to All the way down. Yes. And they will still reinforce themselves. Yes. To hold themselves on the, on the pillar. This is a You cannot magical, move this. This is a magical. It has already now look, held itself. Yeah. You can see the many true. fruits yeah. which are coming yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are continuing. I planted this one, mm -hmm. but later I realized the spacing was too big. Mm -hmm. It was this one and the next one other than this. Yes. So this one November last mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. and the March this year, mm -hmm. I added this one sandwiching these two. Mm -hmm. That's why this is a bit new. This is an old so, one. So this is a flower? This is a flower which will open. Oh, this okay. is the flower. It will yes. open. Yes. When pollination is done, mm -hmm. the fruit will start now from inside oh, okay. coming out. Okay. And you'll see now the whisk-like thing yes. hanging here because the flower will now hang down. If, if I may ask you, Doctor. Please do. Uh, where do you get the seedling or how, how does the seedling look like or... You the can seedling, have seedlings, basically. I'll show you at the nursery, but mm -hmm. we have two methods of getting the seedlings. Mm -hmm. You can have seedling from the cutting. Mm -hmm. And that is the recommended way because it will take about 16 months to fruit. Wow. For example, if we take this one yes. and we clip it from here, yes. there is a method of preparing it and then we get a seedling from this one within oh. three to four months. Okay. okay. If we get the branches as it comes up, mm -hmm. And we can allow them for three, four months. Mm -hmm. We can get a seedling. But From because when we want, when it is coming up, mm -hmm. we want it to reach the top. Mm -hmm. We prune them before they start eating the food for the main plant. Mm, I can but, see I used motorbike tire here. Yes. What is its purpose? The purpose of the motorbike tire mm -hmm. is to give an ambient so that it can form an umbrella. Yes. You can see it going all directions. Yes. Look at the fruit here. Yes. There oh. will be fruits all, all over. All over. Okay. And because of this motorbike tire, yes. in fact, later we are mm -hmm. going to make another posts around this yes. so that we make another bigger circle. Oh, you So that it, it can be... It can extend wow. more. We want it to propagate more. Yes. So that the more branches we have, yes. the more fruits we are going to get. Yes. Once it matures, next time you'll get a fruit here, a mm -hmm. fruit here, a fruit here, wow. a fruit here. But when it so is well supported. It can be very productive. Yes. Once this air root touch the ground, mm -hmm. it will be able to pull, mm. feed, mm. and then it will make as many fruits as possible. Okay. Thank you. Walk us along. So you now... You told us you have around... Uh, yeah, in total, 500 dragon fruit. We have more than 500 wow. yes, at today. Yes. Because each post is carrying four, mm -hmm. and I have about 72 plus 60. Okay. So if you, oh, if you take 72 plus, post plus 60, that plus that 60 pots, 132, times multiply four. by four. Wow. That is the number we have, but that by God's grace, or thereabout. before February good. next year, yes. we want to have a thousand. I'm going to show you at the nursery, we have many of them. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of hoarders mm. because people are hoarding dragon fruit. Mm. I was able to get them from a farm in Meru. Yes. I was able to get them from a farm in Laikipia. Yes. I was able to get them from uh, Oxfam Organic in yes. Yeri. Yes. But now somebody can get the dragon fruit seedlings right from 3J Farm Kilomelo. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. How much do you, does one dragon fruit seedling go for? Dragon fruit seedlings are expensive. Mm. The same way the fruit is expensive, mm. even the seedlings are expensive. Mm. For example, you can Google and see mm -hmm. the market price mm -hmm. for a dragon fruit seedling yes. ranges between 
600 and 1,200. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. Yes. If you buy from Laikipia, mm -hmm. it will go for 1,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. If you buy from Oxfam Organic, mm -hmm. it will go for around 800 shillings. Yes. If you buy from a friend of mine in Meru, yes. you'll buy at around 650. Mm -hmm. Even us, we are on the same range, mm -hmm. but interested people can inbox and we can talk. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. So viewers, interested people can uh, just place the comment in my comment box and I will link you to Dr. Michael Musioka for dragon fruit, dragon fruit farming and the seedlings too. Most welcome. Let's continue. Thank you. Right. So now, mm -hmm. if you start from the side and look, you are going to see a very good scenery. Yes. When the flowers are on and the fruits are ripe, mm -hmm. you see a lot of good scenery here. Mm. They will be pinkish. Yes. The and beauty. The beauty will be amazing. Yes. You can see even this as it's shown you it is going to give fruit. Oh, by the way. Because almost. They are, yeah, it is it has given one yeah, already. This is one already. And then we are coming over. Yeah. If you look at this one, it is also doing it. I said in between I and which. Yes. These are new ones which I planted three months ago. Mm -hmm. March. Not three months, March this year. Is when and I was they have, gone, they have gone this far. Yes, mm. when I was planting the apples. I also mm -hmm. planted this. So for them to fully mature mm -hmm. and start bearing fruit, it takes, you said it takes how long? Around 16 months. 16 months. 16 months. Wonderful. When it comes to the end, you clip. Yes. When you trim it here, yes. it will give you like, yes. Just show if you, you come here, the, tri the trimming. come this side, mm. when this side. it comes to the full length here, mm. by the time you put this bike, eh, yes. you trim here. Mm -hmm. Then it gives you this. Yes. This, yes. this, this, those are four branches. Yes. And uh, you will realize something here. This mm -hmm. has not been put in the right way. Yes. This was supposed to be on the top. Oh, on the top. So they the, have the, to the, change the, the it so that yes. it, can it can quickly yeah. lie over this. Yeah, Otherwise, it will be cut, it will, by, it will this. cut by this. Yeah, I had not seen this. Yes. I'll turn it. So mm. the right way mm. is to make this one sit on this side, not mm. the wedge like and this. And you just use, use the tire. I mean, this is my car's old tire. <laughs> I just chopped it to yeah, into, two into two at the center. Yes. And it has given me this. That is using local innovation. material and innovation. Innovation and Come a local along. material which are available. Yes. So this one is also giving some fruit. Yes. It has started. Yes. The, what it needs here, as I was telling you there, mm -hmm. we need now to put now the natural manure mm -hmm. so that it can be strength. It yes. can have it strength. Can collect new These things. air roots, yes. once they go down there, mm -hmm. <laughs> They will because be able. These are air roots, and yes. they are firmly held into this. They have held themselves. Block. We no longer know. need this. Uh, yes, they, ay, this is. Uh, they are firmly. They are firmly held. You can't this. remove it. Yes. You can't detach it. Yes. It has already. We no longer need to tie them mm. because now mm. they have held themselves. Wow. You can't move it at you all. You can't at you all. Can at this is a very funny. This is a very funny plant. Yes. No wonder it's dragon. Oh, the name is derived from <laughs> yeah. the way it. Uh, it has a behavior it, that yes. when it holds, it, it, cannot, it cannot let go. Let go until you kill it. It also has <laughs> thorns to protect itself. Yes. It has two sharp thorns. It's basically a dragon. No animal can touch it. Yes. Because of the thorns. No, no so animal. It knows how to take care of itself. So this is basically a very easy to grow fruit which is equally very expensive and very nutritious and mm. it doesn't need a lot of water the beauty oh wonderful. we give it water twice in a week during the dry spell yes and for only 10 minutes yes let's walk a bit mm. if you can enjoy the scenery mm. we'll see mm. we have more, more them, and more, more dragon fruit look at the setup because now you see very like easy this one has material showing Yes, it has about three of them, and it has a branch, and which it has many actually more looks branches. like a dragon. Yes, <laughs> so the dragon fruit yes. is shown here. Yes, when these ones open, we shall have fruit. Uh, we have just to put the come organic this way manure. for the viewers to see how this thing is truly a dragon. Mm. It has, uh, look you at can the branches. see the branches, how it is behaving. Look yes. at the pictures and yes. where the fruit is. Yes. It is giving you that picture of a dragon. Wow. So it's a dragon fruit. It so is yummy, a so tasty, so mm -hmm. good. Dragon mm -hmm. fruits are good for mm -hmm. diabetic people, type yes. 2. It is good for people with high blood uh, pressure, pressure mm -hmm. hypertensive. Mm -hmm. It is a good fruit which has got so many other agents for the better of the body, oh, especially okay. it's basically for the people medicinal. who are aging. Yes. It is basically medicinal. Yes. Guys, yes. this is the way to go. Uh, dragon fruit is the fruit 
mm. of the future. Yes. So welcome to Dragon Fruit Farming. Let's walk a bit before I close the video. So we can still see mm -hmm. the same scenario. Mm -hmm. This is for March this year yes. when we planted this. I can see a bit of manure here. Yeah? Yes, we have just this put manure oh, okay. so that now when it rains, yes. it can soak it for can nitrogen. Soak for nitrogen. Yeah? yeah, we need nitrogen. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. This so thing is finally that blessed. It is really mm. by next year mm. we shall have so much of this. Mm. By the end of season, by April next year, mm -hmm. we shall be having some quite some good number. Yes. Because they have just started fruiting. Yes. Yeah. As we can see. So we have a wool line mm. from end to end. Mm. And this chamber is about 400 meters mm. from here to the other hand. Mm. And the spacing we do about 5 meters. Yes. Yes. So, so viewers, is this is it from uh, Motella 3FJ farm, Kelumelo, at Dr. Michael Musioka's farm. And uh, as it were, we were taking around to get to know a new concept, a new fruit by the name, which goes by the name dragon fruit. And uh, welcome for comments, for views, for information. Kindly get in touch or drop a comment at the comment box below. And uh, for now, I would really request you to kindly subscribe, like and share for more content on farming and uh, farming around this country. Bye for now. Bye.